western reporter i was never given a visa to enter syria so we developed close contacts with people on the ground uh, civil society groups that we trusted doctors nurses teachers people who were really stuck between these two warring sides um, and people who were increasingly terrified as the government advanced on east aleppo this was a an absolutely horrific time where you had more than 100,000 civilians trapped and um, documenting it as, it as it unfolded and getting desperate messages from people who were genuinely in fear of their lives and trying to tell that story um, was just a very overwhelming and harrowing experience. The hardest part about um, doing the Yemen story was just getting in. Um, so difficult. Access is very restricted. We waited for months to get those visas and the local authorities don't make it any easier because we were trying to show the war crimes, alleged war crimes committed by both sides. On the ground, I mean, this is a place that's being hit by airstrikes. Um, Kidnapping is a high risk. On the roads we travelled, we were 20 kilometres from a front where ISIS was. Um, poverty is just so incredibly overwhelming. And just to meet these families whose kids are dying because they just don't have enough food to feed them. But I feel that what we do is really important and we always um, strive to be the ones who are there bringing that story home for um, both the audience and for the powers that be. Yes, it is um, incredibly beneficial now to have social media and get stories and videos from people on the ground, people who you trust, but I still think that there's an important role foreign correspondents play in um, gathering that information presenting it to the audience, providing that analysis of what it means and being able to vouch for that, um, verify it and, and say this is what's going on in this place. Even if we can't get in there, um, we've done our best to try and show you what is going on.